welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a good summer. It's been a minute for me posting any videos. As some of you know, I took the summer off. So this is my first video of the somewhat fall end of summer. Um, but don't mind my voice. I'm coming off of a cold right now. And like what is going on with flu season hitting early because I'm hearing like everybody is sick this summer, which I'm hoping that that just means we're gonna have a super easy peasy flu season this year. So that's not what this video is about. So let's get to it. Today, I'm gonna show you guys my capsule wardrobe that I've started doing. Um, it's not complete, but it's, I've gotten like a lot of the staples. So um, I thought I'd do a try on haul for you guys and pretty much everything is from TJ Maxx. So that was super awesome. I was definitely willing to spend a little more, but I got lucky and I found things that fit and I really liked and were good quality. So that's what I'm going for, but I thought I would just show you guys what I found. And we are gonna be taking a big trip soon. I'll be announcing that on social media, but um, pretty much I have like everything I need for that trip too. So that's been super nice and one of the best parts about a capsule wardrobe. Before I get started though, if you guys don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, essentially it is like staples that I can just like grab and go. Like I hate getting ready. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys feel this way too, but like getting ready or thinking of what to wear, how to match it, like how to put together an outfit can be a little bit stressful and take way too long when I don't have time for it. Let's be honest though, I'm mostly in like leggings and sweatpants in the fall and like some shorts and a t-shirt all summer. But on the days that I do need to put it together like an outfit, I hate having to figure out like what's gonna work. So my capsule wardrobe is something that is very versatile and essentially like won't go out of style. Like I'm, once I have it, I have it. And unless I change sizes drastically, it should still fit, it should last long-term and it sh it's not like super, super trendy, it's going to really last throughout like styles and changes in styles and trends. I got this idea actually from Elena Cinciati, who's one of my favorite YouTube moms, but I had been seeing it all over Pinterest. So I was like, I'm gonna start doing this. I kind of already was, but didn't know that I was. Something that Elena said in her video that I thought was helpful was trying to figure out like what your style is. Like what are your top five words? I don't think I could come up with five, but just like, things that words to describe your style so for me that would be versatile definitely comfortable moms you know what i'm talking about like i need to be able to like squat bend over and like wear it all day long and sometimes even jeans can feel a little bit like restrictive so um comfortable for sure neutral i am a big neutral fan and it just never goes out of style. My fourth would maybe be timeless. So I'm gonna show you the pieces that I found. I'm gonna have to make this fast because it's like end of day lighting and I don't wanna run out of light. So I'm gonna try to make this quick. Okay, so as far as bottoms go, um, I have shorts, skirts, and pants. So I have a pair of denim. I have two pairs of denim shorts and one of them's dirty, but I did find them at TJ Maxx. And then I grabbed this linen pair of shorts, which is high-waisted, super comfy. I love the ruched waistline and it just really goes with everything, which like I said, versatile is definitely one of my styles. I had wanted a long skirt for a long, long time. So I wanted it to be a little bit feminine, but also neutral and not like too old lady, you know what I mean? So this is super cute and like could totally be worn while pregnant. It's definitely maternity friendly. It can totally pass as like a spring, summer or fall with like the color scheme that it has. It definitely has a little bit of everything. So I'm obsessed with this. Um, and then th this is a pair of like linen, almost like gauchos. They're very like wide leg with a slit in the side. They're super cute, they're high-waisted. I love the tie. It just gives the waistline like that perfect touch. I'm My waistline I feel like is super boxy so that just feels like it gives me a little more shape. And then I have a denim ripped pair of mom jeans and regular uh, mom jeans with like a fringed 
bottom. So other than that, like I guess I could get like a pair of black, like faux leather pants. That's a little bit on the trendy side for me, but it is something that goes in and out of style. So having them wouldn't be a bad idea. So my, I'm keeping my eye out for something like that. And if like I wanted to like dress up for like maybe going out to like a bar or something, maybe I would wear something like that. But let me show you the tops next. As far as tops go, I feel like for my capsule closet, I already had like a white V-neck and a black V-neck short sleeves and then a white and black long sleeve V-neck. And then I just needed some stripes. So I was able to find this cute short sleeve uh, striped shirt and the texture of the fabric, I wish you guys could feel this. It's very like bouncy and stretchy. So I love the texture. It doesn't like lay on you too clingy. So loved that. Again, TJ Maxx. And then this is definitely for more of those casual days. I wanted like an oversized tee. Again, neutral, but had like a cute feminine element to it. I loved the back. Um, this is something that I would sport all the time with jeans or over biker shorts or leggings all the time, all season. So that was a great find, super inexpensive. This could be a shirt or like outerwear that you could layer over like a white tank top or something. But I loved this. I could wear it with the linen pants. I've worn it with jeans, the jean shorts. It's just very versatile, very uh, neutral, timeless. And I, it's super comfy super cute and it's like a lightweight kind of like a linen cotton blend fabric so loved that and then this was actually given to me but i love my hand-me-downs this is a great like outerwear and could be a shirt um gotta have a flannel on hand i'll be wearing this all fall um with jeans or shorts whatever um then i think as far as like tank tops go for short shirts you need a white a black a striped a high neck maybe like a scooped neck so now i have that this is the first time i was able to find like a high neck almost turtleneck um and i got a two pack so i got one in black one in white and then stripes so that's like the most i'll go as far as print um besides like i have the floral in the skirt so i would definitely pair that with a solid but i do like a good stripes this is more like navy and white so um i would wear this with white pants which i just ordered from h&m so they should be here soon but that is like the last thing i was searching for was some white denim actually so to go along with my bottoms that was one more thing that i needed and then this is the black version of the high necked tank top so this one is actually ribbed which i love so just subtle details like that add like a little bit to the outfit and elevate it, I think. So I'm set definitely on the tank tops and I'll show you the outerwear. So this is another shirt, but could be outerwear as well. So um, hopefully my lighting is okay here. Let me adjust this. I was looking for a denim shirt. The one I had was pre-babies and just was too tight through the shoulders for me. So I sized up on this. It's a little bit big, but that's definitely in the style right now. And this will fit me probably forever. So I love it. It's definitely one of those like non-structured denim. So it's not true jean material, but it is super comfy. And I liked that it had snaps and they're white. So it definitely like elevates it a little bit. Um, and this is more casual comfy. So I love that. And I love that it can be like a jacket or... Um, worn as a shirt and then this I've had since probably the spring as well but I've worn it so much it's like a sweater jacket thing and so this is nice to wear like if I don't want to wear something super heavy but I want to look put together like if I'm going out or like for date night or something my lighting is fading so I'm gonna have to make this quick I'll probably have to make this two parts and do the try on tomorrow but this was something that I wanted was like a white button-up collared shirt um, to just have like to go over a tank top or just like tie around my shoulders or my waist um, definitely falls in line with like the capsule wardrobe this could also be worn as a swimsuit cover-up which is what I'm gonna do 
when we go on vacation. So I'm really excited about that. But I have worn this so much and it's long enough that it could like go with a dress or a skirt or just be like tucked in and worn with jeans. So that was great. A great find. I wanted to find a blazer, like an oversized neutral blazer. So I was super happy with this and I can totally wear this with jeans um, and just dress up things. Also, I wanted like something I could wear over like my jumpers or like even when I go out and it's kind of cold at night and I'm wearing something a little dressier, like even a dress, I want to have something that I can wear over it that's not like a pea coat, you know? So I thought this was a good happy medium. Okay, and then this top is something that can be worn as outerwear, but also could just be a sweater. Um, I would wear this with jeans and just like some sneakers. I was super excited about this. It's kind of like a cropped sweater. It's super, super soft. So I'm gonna have to be careful when I wash it, but um, I loved the two-tone uh, pattern and timeless and neutral. So I was super excited about that. Change out my denim jacket just because the one I had was cropped and was a little bit on the small side, which is kind of not in style anymore. So I went with the oversized longer denim jacket so that it could be worn as like an accessory or um, really with anything as a jacket. So I was super happy with this and it's definitely like distressed and cute. Um, and it's a snap which I'm excited about. So yeah, I thought this was super cute. I'll show you the back so you can see like the distressed pieces. Okay, this I got last fall, but I definitely think it falls into my capsule, which is just this corduroy um, snapped up shirt. It's super cute. It is oversized. And I wore this like all fall last year. I'm obsessed with it. And it's definitely like warm enough to be worn as a jacket in the fall and layered. So I'm a big fan of layering. I think I'm gonna do a video of how I'm gonna pack for our trip and show you guys like how I minimally pack and layering is the key, you guys. This is the last outerwear. So I had wanted a trench coat for forever now and I have noticed it when I was looking on Pinterest at all the capsule wardrobes that are in my style. Um, this is it, so timeless neutral, comfortable, and it's still feminine. And I just love it. And I love that it has a hood because, you know, sometimes you actually need it, but I will be wearing this all the time. You guys, like I would wear this even with yoga pants to the gym. I would wear this with like a sweatshirt underneath. Like you can wear this with anything. You can dress it up, dress it down, wear sneakers with it, boots, heels, whatever. So this is gonna be like my jacket. Um, as far as jackets go, I have one like puffy winter jacket and then this, and that's really it. I think I might have a Sherpa, but like, that's all you need. I don't need any more like officially structured jackets. As you can see, I have so many options that I can go to for any style, any season, and I'm pretty much covered. So that was super, that made me super happy. The last thing is a dress. So I have, like I said, I have a black one piece, so I don't really need a ton of dresses. I have a couple short ones and like a couple floral ones, but I'm not in love with them, which is why I wanted one of these. It's like mid calf length, so it could be worn in the fall with boots or in the summer with sandals or heels. It's neutral, it's super comfy. Um, I sized up in it because I just did not want it to be super clingy and super tight, but it definitely still like accentuates curves and it looks nice. Um, it doesn't hang on me, so I love it. It's super nice fabric and it's ribbed, but it's like a very thin ribbing. So it's very cute. I love it and it has a built-in liner. So sometimes I don't like to wear a bra, and so this is kind of nice to just have like a little extra um, fabric. So yeah, that is my big TJ Maxx haul, which did not happen in one trip. Took a while, but when I found it, I had to get it because if you know, you know at TJ Maxx, and when it's gone, it's gone. It's not coming back. As far as one pieces go, I found this one early on 
probably in the spring of this year. I love a good romper or bodysuit. Um, so I loved this. It's wide legged as well. And it is very neutral and can definitely be dressed up or dressed down. I think I wore it for Easter and had some like wedges on. I really like the back too. It's open, but it also has like a pocket here. So it could totally be casual, throw a jean jacket on with it. But as far as like bodysuits go, I have this one and then I have an all black jumper. And then I have, I think a couple floral ones that um, I still really do like, even though they're not a, very neutral. Um, so I'm pretty much set on one pieces. Okay, so this is the first outfit with the shorts. So I love it has pockets. So they're a nice like length, they're not too short. Um, they're super comfy, super stretchy. And this is that tank top I was telling you about with the square neckline, it's super cute. Um, so I just put this on with my dressier sandals, but you could totally wear tennis shoes with it, flip flops. And then this is my optional like layering shirt, or you could just wear this shirt buttoned up and tucked in. But I just thought this was super cute to go over it, or you know, you could just tuck it in. Um, either way, it's super cute. I like that it's loose enough too that you could always tie it. That's another option. So um, yeah, this is um, a look that I'm definitely gonna take on vacation and is super versatile. I've also paired this top with jean shorts and jeans, um, but it would also look good with those tan gouges that I got too. So. Okay, this is the long skirt. I still paired with the same sandals I had on with the white shorts. I just paired it with a white bodysuit. I have this in white and black, and that's something I mentioned that I had had previously, but I just think that it's super cute. Definitely could be an all season. And then some pairing options I had was to throw on the denim long sleeve shirt that you could just um, throw on over it. You could roll up the sleeves. You could tie it up like I did with the shorts. Um, there's lots of different options, but I just think that it's super cute and easy. Um, something that you could even just throw over the shoulder. And then um, I thought the white button up also would be an option of something that you could just um, have on over top. And um, yeah. Would just be cute like over the top that's why i love having these versatile staples um i think the last time i wore this i did wear this with it but either way you could definitely like pull up the sleeves and tie it or you could even tuck this in so lots of different options of things that you can do with it so i thought it was super cute um, even in like the fall and winter, if you wanted to wear like a pair of boots with it, you could even pair the sweater. And because it's cropped, I think that it's like the perfect complement to it. Here, I'll button it up so you can see. I just think that that's super cute. Okay, so here I have on the sleeveless high neck um, tank top with the blazer and I put the loafers with it. You could totally do this as like a business casual day at work. I just think it's super cute anyway. Like if you had to go to like a meeting or anything or even like a happy hour out with some friends, like this would be something that I would wear. And then um, I also want to show you this blazer with the striped shirt and then I wanted to show you this with the tennis shoes. So the sneakers I think are a great way to like make it a little bit more casual also really trendy right now to do which is why it's nice to have a pair that you can look so that you can see yeah it kind of gives it like a different vibe now and then I could also if you don't want it to be like super white on white you could just throw in like I said like this striped 
pink uh, t-shirt or any other color, or if you had a different print, that would work too. So I just loved this blazer, loved the texture, and again, will be a great like fall staple for me. Tea with the tennis shoes, I would wear this to a doctor's appointment if I was gonna go grocery shopping. This would be a little more dressed up for grocery shopping for me, but in the fall when it's a little bit colder or if I just wanna layer a little bit, cause sometimes the mornings in the fall are chilly and then it warms up. This would be a great option to pair with the sweater. So I think that it's super cute um, and easy for like an everyday look. Since I have this shirt on, I thought I'd show it to you with the gauchos cause they're just super cute. This is super summery, I wore it this summer and I just have on a pair of like nude flip flops that work with it. But if you wanted to like dress it up for a happy hour or date night, I wanted to show it to you with the little strappy sandal heel that I have um, because I think that it would be a good pair with the gauchos. But you can see, super cute. This is moving into more of like a fall look. So these are the little cargo pants that I have worn since probably last fall, but I've had, paired them with my white bands. And then this is the um, long sleeve V-neck that I have in white as well. And I wear this at least once a week in the fall or the winter. And now that I have the oversized jean jacket, I would totally pair it with this. And it has pockets too, which I love. But yeah, I just think this is a super cute look Again, I would wear this to the grocery store or running errands to a doctor's appointment, something like that, or even just like out to a play date in the fall with some friends. I think that this will be a go-to look for me. So this is another look that I would wear all fall. I wear this jumper all the time. This is actually a TJ Maxx find. Probably like two years ago, I have worn it so, so often even when I was pregnant, so it was a great find. Um, I would just throw the jean jacket on and the sneakers. So yeah, super easy. I would say TJ Maxx is a great place to find jumpers like this, especially if you're a shorty like me. I am only 5'1", and so they usually have a hard time with uh, jumpers because of how long they are. But I have found two of them that work great from TJ Maxx. So just a heads up for all you shorties out there. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys a look that I would wear with the trench coat. I am notorious for wearing this Adidas sweatshirt all the time, like once or twice a week. So yeah, this is going to change it up a little bit and it's something that I would definitely wear together. And I would also wear like even a hooded sweatshirt with this, but it's still cute, you guys. So, so cute, you guys. So yeah, this is um, something that you'll see me rocking probably all fall and winter. I don't even know if I'll bring out my puppy coat. Okay, so this is the long dress that I have. I already have the sneakers on. I thought I'd just show it to you guys with it. And then I love this over it. Um, this or the white shirt. You could tie it up. You can wear it down. I did like that this was a thick shoulder strap like it almost is like goes over the shoulder but it's nice okay I'm gonna wrap up this video but I could not forget to show you guys my white denim that just came it came in the mail since I filmed the other day so I just had to show you guys but I'm impressed with it so far it's high-waisted um, which I like it's a little bit snug but I could still like move and I'm hoping that with time and wear that they'll stretch a little bit but they're like the perfect like leg width and height for a shorty like me like I said um so and then I did actually get this when I was looking for my capsule wardrobe because I'm just a sucker for a good t-shirt and I wear t-shirts a lot this one I was wearing today with some little like athletic short anyways I think I'm gonna keep them comment down below what your favorite outfit was what your favorite pairing is, if you had suggestions of different pairings or mixing and matching that you'd wanna see. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe because I'm gonna start posting more regularly. Hopefully I'll get back to that twice a month 
schedule. So um, let me know if there's any content specifically that you guys want to see. I started posting a lot on my Instagram about my sourdough starter and you guys really liked that. So I may need to do a video just on sourdough, which I'm honestly blown away, but like, hey, you guys let me know what you want to see. So um, anyways, I hope that you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.